Welcome to our Good Friday online service. We're glad that you've joined us for this important day that we remember the last words of Jesus. So today we will be led by our confirmation class. Several representatives will be reading our word for today. And interspersed throughout our time together, we'll be blessed by music. So this is a time to contemplate, a time to pray, and a time to remember. Let us begin. See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be exalted and lifted up, and shall be very high. Just as there were many who were astonished at him, so marred was his appearance beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of mortals. So he shall startle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouths because of him. For that which he had not been told them, they shall see, and that which they had not heard, they shall not contemplate. Who has believed what we have heard? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity. And as one for whom others hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him of no account. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our inequities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him like the inequity of us all. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 13 through chapter 53, verse 6. From Isaiah chapter 53, verses 7 through 12. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth, like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shears is silent. So he did not open his mouth. By a provision of justice he was taken away. Who could have imagined his future? For he was cut off from the land of the, of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. They made his grave with the wicked and his tomb with the rich. Although he had done no violence, and there was no deceit in his mouth, yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him with pain. When you make his life an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring, and shall prolong his days. Through him the will of the Lord shall prosper. Out of his anguish he shall see light, he shall find satisfaction through his knowledge. 
the righteous one, my servant, shall make many righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will allot him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out himself to death. And was numbered with transgressors, yet he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Jesus said, Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Jesus said to them, the light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become the children of light. John chapter 12, 31, 36.
Lesson four. Then Pilate again entered the headquarters, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king, for I was born and for I was I, and for I came into this world to testify the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Pilate asked him, what is, the, what is truth? After he said this, he went out to, to the Jews again and told, and told them, I find no case against him, but you have a custom that I release someone for you to pass over. Do you want me to release you for the king of the Jews? They shout in reply, not this man, but Barbas. Now Barbas was abandoned. Then Pilate took him, took Jesus, and had him flogged. The soldiers woven a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they kept him dressed in a purple robe. They kept coming to him, saying, Hail the king of the Jews, striking him on the face. Pilate went out again and said to them, Look, I am bringing him to you. Let you know I find no case against him. So Jesus came out wearing a crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Here is the man. When the chief of priests and the police saw him, they shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Then Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no case against him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and according to that law he is out to die, because he has claimed to be the Son of God. Now Pilate heard this. He was more afraid than ever. He entered the headquarters again and asked Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Pilate therefore said to him, Do you refuse to speak to me? Do you not know that I have the power to release you and the power to crucify you? Jesus answered him, You have no power over me unless it had, has been given to you above. Therefore, who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. John 18, 33 through 19, 11.
Lesson 5. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Luke chapter 23, verse 33 through 43.
Lesson 6, Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Jesus Christ, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave and being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. I sat spellbound in the sanctuary as the soprano sang. The arias in Johann Sebastian Bach's St. Matthew Passion are absolutely stunning. She sang with such power. For love, my Savior is now dying. Of sin and guilt, he knows not. So eternal desolation and the sinner's righteous doom shall not rest upon my spirit. As we go into the darkness tonight, may we go in peace. And may Jesus Christ, 
who for our sake became obedient unto death, even death on a cross, keep you and strengthen you this night and forever. Amen.